Hey guys, it's OMG Hyde here, bringing you a third generation Wi-Fi battle, and this is going to be against Evans. We had another battle. That battle was trash. I got six old. Not uploading that. We had this battle because, well, I got six old because I was using some weird gimmick team. It was mono purple, like mono color purple. So there's really not much in mono color purple that's good. But I mean, there's a lot of things that are good, but they're all pretty much physical walls or special walls or just walls in general. So that got destroyed pretty easily. So we had this battle and we're using different teams. So I'm leading off with my uh, physically defensive Gardevoir. I'm gonna burn the Umbreon because it's good to get damage off on Umbreons because Umbreons are really defensive and they could be very versatile in their move pools. They could either be clerics, they could be wish passers, they could be, as you see right here, a uh, trap passer, which is, which means he pretty much mean looks me, then he baton passes to something else, and then he can set up on me because he knows there's probably no moves that I could actually touch him with. But little did he know that Gardevoir could actually learn Thunderbolt, which I do not carry on this Gardevoir, sadly. So I was unable to surprise him with the Thunderbolt. So I'm going to Willow Wisp him right here because Skarmory's, again, they're defensive as well. So it's good to get some damage off on the Skarmory's, which is good for me but as you're gonna see the burn doesn't really matter so I'm gonna try to switch out because normally I think in fifth gen if you baton pass I mean look you could actually switch out because I don't think it passes over I think I don't know if it works like that in fifth gen because nobody uses mean look anymore so it's like whatever so I'm gonna hit him with an ice punch it does decent damage considering and I could tell that he's not really especially defensive so I'm gonna go for the wish right here because I thought he was I thought he had a move such as like drill peck or he was gonna go for a whirlwind to try to switch me out because he thought I was gonna go for the ice punch again but it's whatever so I'm gonna hit him with the ice punch again as he uses the rest and he's gonna get rid of the burn so really I can't really will-o-wisp the Skarmory anymore because I know he has the willow I know I know he has the rest now so it's gonna be like a it's gonna be kind of difficult to deal with that because there's really no point in burning something that has rest but there's a really good point in burning something that has rest that is a physical attacker so he's gonna go for the sleep talk and he shows me that he has sleep talk so now I pretty much know his move set now because he has sleep talk well I actually he doesn't ha he hasn't revealed one move yet yet just yet he hasn't revealed one move yet so he has sleep talk spikes and rest so he goes, he's still sleeping, he goes for the rest of sleep talk, he gets spikes, and he sets up his last layer of spikes. So I'm gonna go for the sidekick here because I wanted to get some special defense drops, but he's gonna switch out, go back into his Umbreon, I can't affect it, and yeah. So now what I'm going to have to do is switch out because I know he's gonna try to lock me into something, then he's gonna switch into something else to try to fuck my ass up, and that's not gonna be working out too very well. So I was either gonna go into rape or I was gonna go into the broom. My boy Zangoose, what you know about it? My boy Zangoose comes in, gets hurt by the spikes, he goes for the meme look. Zangoose, do not give a fuck about that meme look. Look at him, he looks so motherfucking angry right now at this Umbreon, giving him that meme mug. He's about to go in with his brick break, breaking all these screens, breaking all these Umbreons and just dis destroying it. But he's gonna hit me up with a wish, so he's about to grant his wish. His wish is about to come true. He's about to get all that HP back, even though he is burned. So now, I know he's gonna go for the protect now, because I could pretty much pick out moves in his move in his move set right now because of what I seen already so basically I just went for the swords nest that turn while he goes for the protect to get his wish up so now I'm pretty much in sweeping range because a plus two Zangoose is a very scary Zangoose uh, if you do not have the decent Pokemon to counter it, which he does have a decent Pokemon to counter it which is not Gengar because Gengar is about to get wrecked by Shadow Ball and you know Shadow Ball, like, whatever. He's gonna Thunderbolt me. I know I could live non-stab Thunderbolts all day long from that range of HP. And Shadow Ball is about to destroy Gengar's face. Like, Gengar is not going to take a plus two Shadow Ball from Zangus. No, there's no possible way. There's no possible way, possible way Zangus is gonna, I mean, uh, Gengar is gonna take a Shadow Ball from a Zangus. So he's gonna go into Alakazam. Little did he know I had a Select Berry and I'm going to raise my speed. So nothing on his team could pretty much outspeed me and you know, I'm in that sweep range right now. So he's gonna withdraw his Alakazam and he's gonna go back into Skarmory and you know, it was a wrap. Like, I pretty much thought it was a wrap for the broom because, uh, you know, Whirlwind, Roar, forced to switch out and you know, whatever so I'm gonna hit him with the brick break and he goes for the sleep tuck and I'm like please no roar please no roar and 
here it goes. His last move is revealed, and it's toxic. And since I have the immunity, because mongooses, they love to eat snakes, so they're naturally immune to snake venom. Oh my goodness! Which is why Zangoose and Surviper are, you know, enemies. So, pretty much... He's gonna switch out, go into his Don Fan. I'm gonna hit it with the Brick Break. See, now the Brick Break didn't matter because I know a plus two frustration is not going to do anything to a Don Fan. So, it's not gonna kill it at least. So, you know, I got a little bit frustrated now, right now. Me and Zach just got a little bit frustrated with this Don Fan. So, we gotta hit him up with that max frustration and it's gonna kill it because return sucks like who cares about max happiness we care about that max frustration it's too good so right now i thought it was another rap for my uh you know my zangoose because blaziken could carry quick attack but apparently his blaziken doesn't carry the quick attack either and i kill off the blaziken and his whole team's getting destroyed but the best play that he could have actually made was to stay in with his skarmory and his skarmory would have been able to do something to me if it did have the whirlwind or roar but it didn't so that would be a very very good game for me and evans because he is going to run away at after this turn because there is nothing he can do because his Umbreon and his Garmory cannot touch me and yes that is GG I will be seeing you guys all later don't forget to comment like subscribe and yeah oh also thank you guys for the 20 21 likes on my previous upload that is really amazing guys uh, I would like to go for a little bit more likes, you know, probably 30 this time. And if you guys could get me 30 likes, I'll be amazing. And yeah, I'm just like really excited that you guys are glad to see me back because 20 likes on a video that I just uploaded and I haven't uploaded anything Pokemon related in like a year or so. And that's really just excellent. So I'll be seeing you guys all later. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and hide is out. Peace.